Why are you guys here? It's not to hear a bunch of mumbo jumbo. You want strategies. You want to know how to make money, how to change your life, how to make impact in the world, how to provide more for your kids, your family, all your friends, et cetera, et cetera. So let's jump right into this. My name is Calvin Williams, and you're here at the Real Life Trading YouTube channel. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead, pause the video right now and do that for me. Thank you. I'm going to show you guys today one of my all time favorite strategies. This is like my bread and butter. This is what I do in all my long-term accounts. I'll even do this with options, futures, whatever. This is called the Fibonacci pyramid. Now I know what you're thinking. You're like, what the heck is that? That sounds like Chinese. What is a Fibonacci, Calvin? I mean, I know what a pyramid is, but is this video about the Illuminati? Because if it is, I'm out of here. It's not, don't worry guys. So let me just start off with the pyramid first, okay. So we're gonna go into the chart here. I have an example pulled up. This is Microsoft on the weekly chart. Okay, kind of a higher time frame, but stay with me. Now you have two options. My two favorite moving averages are the 100 and the 200. So I'm gonna throw those on the screen. I make my 100 blue, I make my 200 red. Okay, so let's just start with the 100. What you're gonna wanna do is draw a pyramid, okay? You can make the pyramid as big or as small as you want. I recommend something about this size. Now, why am I making it this size? Well, a couple reasons. Let me zoom in here and show you guys. If we take a look here, we have the bottom of all these wicks, right? Okay. So that would be the top of my pyramid. All right. And then I'm just going to simply make the blue line, the middle of the pyramid, right? So see how the blue line is kind of passing through the middle of that pyramid. All right. Perfect. So I'm going to zoom in even further now and show you guys how I would have entered this position. Let's go back in time and I'm going to show you exactly how I would have done it. So we got the blue line there. We got the bottom of these wicks and boom. All right. We're now in the zone of the pyramid. Now, what do you do when you're in the zone of the pyramid? I'm going to draw this a little lower just so it's right in the middle. Okay. That's about the middle, right guys? So what you're going to do is in a standard pyramid, you're going to start buying shares or options at the top, but you're going to start light. Okay. Think of a tip of a pyramid. It's small, right? So we're going to be buying a light amount. So for this example, I'm just going to go ahead and say we bought 10 shares at the top. Okay. Now a traditional pyramid guys can be done very, very many different ways. One way of doing it is you do 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and then 60, right? That's one way. Another way is you double it. So 10, 20, 40, 80, and then 160 and then 320. All right. Now that's going to take a lot more cash. <laughs> just FYI, you're going to have to have a lot of money to buy that many shares of Microsoft, but hopefully you do. You could always just drop those zeros too and just do one, two, four, eight, 16, 32. That's going to be a little more reasonable. But the way I like to do it is with Fibonacci numbers. All right. What is Fibonacci? Fibonacci is a reoccurring sequence in all of nature. You see it in the spirals of seashells. You see it in plants. It's all over the place and it's kind of freaky. But how do we calculate and figure out what Fibonacci numbers are? Well, it's simple. You start with the number one and then what's zero plus one? Well, it's one. Then what's one plus one? Well, it's two. And you keep adding the number before the current number. So one plus two is three. Two plus three is five. Three plus five is eight and so on and so forth, right? You kind of get the idea. Now, what this allows me to do is to scale it in a really intelligent and like exponential way. It makes it so that your average is always right around like the bottom, I'd say two thirds of the pyramid. Like the whole idea here is that you want to end up near that moving average. So for the sake of this, we're just going to go ahead and see what happened. So I'm going to go ahead and buy one right here. Okay. All right. Then we're going to come down. Okay. Right there. You're in profit, right? You could have just gotten out right there if you want, but we're going to see what happens here. So we're going to keep going, keep going. Okay. Now at this point, you've basically filled like two, three and five. So we're just going to go ahead and buy, oh, I don't know. Let's see here. One, three, six and 11. So we're going to buy 11. Okay. So now my average is there. Oh boy. Whole pyramid filled now, right? So we're going to have to now buy 8, 13. That's 21 plus another 21. So 
we're going to buy 42. And I realize, guys, that you'd be, you'd be buying this on you know, you know the daily or the four hour, but I'm just showing you on the weekly. Okay, so we're going to buy 42. So now look at our average is, like I said, kind of near the bottom of that pyramid. Now we're going to see how this plays out. Okay, look at that. We're already starting to hammer out. We're up $239. But I really want to see price come back out. Okay, back out to here. All right. Ooh. All right, got a little scary there for a second. We're just going to keep going here, guys. Okay, now at this point, we've come up, we touched the 10 EMA. I'm up almost a thousand bucks. You probably were up a thousand bucks if you were, you know, at that 10 EMA. So I could go ahead and close this position and take a nice little thousand dollar win. Thousand bucks, guys. What can you do with a thousand bucks? I know it says 850 here, but seriously, what could you do with a thousand bucks? It's kind of crazy if you think about it. And I waited, what, two weeks to make an extra thousand bucks? All right, so for the sake of this example, I'm going to go ahead and just sell my full position, which is 54, and I'm going to sell. Bam, look at that, thousand bucks. Now I'm curious what keeps happening with this. All right, and you can see, oh my goodness, if you would have held on, you'd be up here right now, which is kind of where we were talking about, right? So this is a strategy that takes some patience. You're gonna have to hold on a little bit you know, longer, but it works. And now I'm gonna show you guys how this works on the 200, okay? So turn this off. Oh, you guys can already see it, can't you? Woo, it looks good. But we're just gonna back up in time so you can see it again, because I wanna show you guys through repetition how this works, okay? So we're gonna back up to about here, all right? Once again, we're gonna draw. That's your old support that's gonna turn new resistance, right? We're gonna draw a pyramid, probably starting around here, around the break, and we're just gonna draw it straight through that red line. Super easy, guys, super, super easy. All right, now, let's see what happens. So we come down. All right, right there, we're at the, pretty much at the top of the pyramid, right? I'm just gonna wait for price, okay, right there. Now for this example, we're gonna go heavy. Heavy. This is for you. This is for you guys that got a lot of money, all right? So a hundred shares at the top. Bye. See what happens here. Okay, now there I'd probably buy another hundred, right? Honestly, at this point, you've already bought a hundred and another hundred, and you've probably already bought that additional two hundred. So one, one, two, right? So I'm gonna buy another 200. So now we're at 400 shares. Now if it goes down again, remember we're gonna buy 300. That's the next Fibonacci number. Let's see what happens here. Oh boy. Guys, look at this. We're up $10,000, $12,000. And just imagine if it had come down all the way to here, I would have had like a lot more shares. But this is the power, right? Okay. We still haven't gotten that full breakout. Okay, we came back down now and touched that 200 again. Now, what am I doing here? Am I adding more? No, because I want it to come deeper into the pyramid before I add more. Okay, we're just going to let this play out. And, oh my goodness. Higher highs, higher lows. Okay, at this point, you're up 30K. Now, how long did this take? We started the pyramid back here. Right now, we're here. It says 223 days. Now, I understand that's a long time. I understand that's what, seven, eight, nine months, but 30K, 30K. <laughs> so how do I know when to get out? Well, there's a lot of different reasons and ways. I mean, you might be getting out here because you have some resistance, right? That's probably the responsible thing to do. Um, but let's say you just want to see where this goes. I mean, you could draw a trend line right there and just say, Hey, if you know, if it breaks that trend line, I'll get out. So let's just see where this where this trade would have went. Okay, 40K, 50K. Let's keep checking this out. We're just watching. I'm just sitting back. I got my popcorn. We're 60K now. Most of you probably only make 60K. You're 70K. Oh my gosh, 80, it tapped 80. Oh my gosh, congrats, trader. <laughs> 
Congrats, Trader. 81,000. That's where we are currently. Um, wow. I mean, really powerful. You probably would have drawn another trend line there. So that's probably your new uh, break, breaking point if you want to get out. But the strategy works. I'm going to show you one more example. Um, let's pick another major stock. Um, let's see if Apple, let's, let's see if it works on Apple. Okay. So Apple on the daily. All right. So let's go back to that hundred. All right. Right here, August of 2023. Now for this one, you have two options here for the pyramid. You could have done that neckline or you could have gone a little lower here. The reason I'm saying lower here is because we had this gap down. You see it? So we gapped to there. So that would have been the top of my pyramid, probably right there. I'm going to draw, starting right here, a pyramid with that blue line in the middle. Now, once again, replay mode and bang. All right. Now, on this day, we probably would have gotten filled on the first, second, and maybe even the third. So we're going to do 100, and I'm just going to buy the second one. So another 100. Okay. Boom. All right. This is definitely the second, no, I'm sorry, third and fourth rung. So we're going to buy 200, and we're going to buy 300. And guys, I know this isn't exact. I'm just showing you an example of how the strategy works. Next one. Is that lower? Let's see. It's kind of hard to see. It is lower. It is lower. I want it a little lower though. All right. That's that's probably going to be pretty good right there. So 500 on there. Bam. Next will be 800. Ooh. Okay. Buying 800. And honestly, I might have even bought 1300 here. Okay. Just saying I might have bought 1300 shares. Let's just do it. Why not? Okay, at this point, guys, I mean, you have 3,300 shares of a uh, freaking Apple. This is going to be a lot. Hold on. Okay, I understand most of you don't have half a million dollars to throw into the market. But if you did or you did this with options, you, this would work as well. So now let's just let it play out. Okay, so it went even lower. You would have a stop at some point. I mean, you're going to have to have a stop somewhere, right? But if you come over here and see this level, that's probably where my stop would have been. And we didn't quite hit it, did we? No, we didn't. Also, make sure you're looking at the volume, guys. Volume is a dirty indicator. Jeremy talks about it a lot. When volume like this comes in on a red candle, a lot of times it means we're at the bottom of that move, right? So we can see this popped out of here we're back up to that area, right? That neckline. You're up $40,000, okay? Lock it in, flatten, boom. All right? And let's see how this plays out. Okay, it comes back down. Now, you could try again, um, but after a big move like that, I probably wouldn't. I'd probably just like go on a trip and chill. <laughs> like, you've done your work, right? Like, your work, your work's a little done. But... If the next moving average is approached, uh-oh, the next moving average, which is down here. So for this example, we don't really have a clear neckline to go off of because we made this new low, but it didn't quite touch the 200. So pro but probably what I would have done is, is started the pyramid, uh, I don't know, around here. I mean, this is low. This is Apple, guys. This is the most expensive and wealthy like company in the world, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and start the pyramid a little lower. We'll say right there is the neckline, okay? Like we only had one candle below this whole level right here. So that's going to kind of be my level, all right? So we're going to come in. All right, here we go. Boom. We're going to buy. Okay, that's that's deep. That's deep. We're going to buy another 100 and we probably also bought our 200 rung. Now, hold on. I know this is a little bit hard to see. We got to get in here. We got to get in here. Does it go lower? Nope. It starts to take off. We're we're long 400 shares, guys. 
Now right here, can totally take it off at, at the 100 again and get paid five grand. Still really awesome. But let's see what Apple did here. It comes up. I mean, at this point, guys, we're at a new high. We're at a new high. You should you should definitely be trimming here if not closing. I probably would have closed. Yeah, and then, cool. So when this new neckline is broken right here, you definitely should be getting out. But then look, it's touching them again. Will it bounce again? You guys, put the 100 and the 200 on your chart. You could have done it again here. Like seriously, this is like kind of stupid. Like pyramid there again. So guys, the Fibonacci pyramid is something you've got to try. If you've never tried it, practice it, try it in your trading. I absolutely love it. I love it on higher time frames, the four hour, the daily, the weekly. It is sort of a more like long-term strategy, but you can totally do this on, on, on lower time frames. Just understand that your appetite for time needs to be a lot greater if you're on a higher time frame and you need to be really nimble and flexible on a lower time frame. You might lose more in a lower time frame, but hey, if you're into trading a lot, then try a lower time frame. I personally like the higher time frames, but I want to show you guys kind of what I'm looking at now on Apple. Cause it's like, great Calvin, thanks for showing me all that. But like, uh, how's this going to help me? Well, let's go to the weekly and let's go to the SMAs. Would you look at that? What do we have right here? That's a neckline. That's a neckline. So I'm going to draw a pyramid from around, I don't know, here to there. You better believe that if Apple takes a trip down here, that I'm going to try and I'm going to buy here, 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 and probably here. And honestly, guys, it's Apple. So I'm just going to hold. I really am. Another way you can do this is you can make this pyramid way bigger and go in between the two moving averages. This is even safer, okay? So I, I, I doubt Apple will get back down to 150. I hope it does though, honestly. Oh my gosh, I'll be pulling out a loan. But you could buy there, 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 there. Just, just study the Fibonacci numbers, guys. Go online, find out what they are, add zeros in the front of them, or you can buy options. Remember, one option, one option, two options, three options, five options, and just stack them and then get them and then just wait for that pop. Just make sure if you're doing options though, that you're buying enough time. I would recommend at least 90 days. I mean, really, honestly, I would do more like six months, nine months, like get into leaps, get into leaps. Um, buy in the money, right? Don't buy out of the money calls. Like if price is here and you're buying calls, like buy calls with strikes down here. It's gonna give you a lot more flexibility as the price comes down to there, you're gonna need that Delta. So anyways, this is all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. This is such a powerful strategy. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share this with your friends. Seriously guys, subscribe. It helps us so much with this page. We wanna keep creating free content from you guys and spread knowledge across the world. Mentally liberating brain food, as Jeremy would say. Anyways, take it easy. See you guys next time.